All right, so good morning. Let's go ahead and begin today on our backs. I guess Maylee's gonna do the yoga with us. You guys ready? So once you come to your backs, let your arms go up and alongside your ears, taking a full deep body stretch, inhaling. And then through your mouth with an audible sigh, let it go. Good, let's do one more clearing, cleansing breath like that. Deep breath in. And exhale through the mouth with a sigh, let it go. <sighs> nice job. From here, let's bend our knees and then slowly guide our thighs into our chest. Wrap arms around shins. Give yourself a big squeeze. If it feels good in your body, you can definitely rock side to side. Creating a little awareness to the lower back body, a little massage, if you will. Good, and then... Bring your hands to your shins and curl your forehead in towards your knees so we can stretch to the back of the neck, to the spine. Deep breath in. Good, and then exhale. So from here, we're just gonna take our knees out wide and just create little circles. Begin to massage through the hips. Cupping the fronts of those shins. You can keep your feet flexed if you would like. This adds just a little bit deeper level of awareness with the feet flexed. Good. Two more rotations just like this. Getting into those inner hips and thighs. Now bring your inner knees back together. Keep your inner knees thighs together. Now make circles with your knees together. So now you're going to feel it more into your lower back and your lower waist. Notice the direction that your circles are moving in. The intention here is just to find some awareness in the body. So we begin our practice. Start to notice and feel how our body is doing as we are. Now switch, take your circles with your knees the other way. Nice job. And then let's go ahead and bring our knees back into the chest. Flex your feet, forehead to knees, bring it, or big hug in. Inhale, good, and then exhale, lower your shoulders, head to the mat, lower your feet flat to the mat. Let's drop our knees open wide, arms up and alongside your ears, full body stretch here, inhale, and then exhale, reach for opposite elbows or forearms and let your shoulders just melt open. We'll be here for a few moments in time here to come into our sacred space. Now that you've carved this time out of your day to do this for you, I want you to come into the right mindset. In your home practice, just notice your surroundings, what's going on around you, and acknowledging that some things we can't control, but what we can control is our reactions. Reactions to thoughts, to movements, to sounds. And when we begin our practice, we allow ourselves to focus completely on what's going on inside. Disconnecting, if you will, from everything around us that we can't control. And utilizing this time as an opportunity to reset, restore, and recharge. Just like how we plug our cell phones in. We plug them in. So they power up so they can go, 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 do all these amazing things for us all day long. That's what our practice today is going to be. It's going to be plugging in, resetting, so we can find energy, openness, strength, so we can do all the things that we want to do. With energy, with an open heart. So as you begin settling in, Let's be, let our breath really take over here. Allow your inhale to fill up through the front body, the side body, the back body, into the shoulders, all the way to the back of the throat. And then as you exhale, as you empty out, just feel your body softening, relaxing into this shape. Let's continue breathing in and out through our nose. Keep your lips sealed to keep that warm breath within the body. 
to warm us up from the inside out. And by this constant focus on the breath, we clear our mind from all the busyness of the day, the world, and we come into this place that's full of peace, because in this moment, life is good. It is calm. Let's take three more breaths as we are here. And exhale, one more breath in. And exhale, slowly bring your inner thighs, knees together. Stamp your feet flat to the mat. Once your feet are flat to the mat, lift your hips just enough to lower your sacrum, your lower back flat to the mat. With your arms that are alongside your ears, just take your hands behind your head. Interlace your fingers, pick up your knees so they're at a tabletop position. Feet are flexed, inhale, we'll start with some core work. Exhale, left elbow over to your right knee, slide your left leg straight. Good, and then all the way to the other side. Right elbow, left knee, right leg straight. Good, now we'll move a little bit quicker. Go right, go left. Feel your low back pressing against the mat. Feel your chest lifting. We're not pulling on our neck, we're just simply holding the back of our head. So cradling it in the palms of our hands or in the interlock of our fingers. Moving here at your pace. The intention to warm up through the core. Once we get our core warmed, everything else just seems to fall in place. Nice job. Go a couple more times, both sides. Nice. Now that you're even, come back to tabletop. Lower your head down to the mat. Bring your arms alongside your body and kick your legs straight up to the sky. We're gonna point our toes and now flex our feet. Now point and flex, point and flex. Slowly, with the engagement of your core, lower your left leg all the way down to the mat. Once your heel connects to the mat, bend your right knee, squeeze and hold your thigh into the chest. Good, inhale, foot is flexed. Exhale, right knee over towards your right shoulder or armpit, feeling that nice stretch in your inner thigh. Inhale. Good, exhale, left hand is going to guide your right knee over and across the body, starting off with a spinal twist. Reach your right arm over to the right, look to your right thumb. Take three full breaths here. One more inhale. And exhale, all right, bring your thigh back into your chest. Kick your right leg straight up to the sky again. Interlace your hands behind your leg and give yourself three breaths here with a flexed foot to breathe into the right leg. Specifically your hamstring into the calf, lifting your heel a little higher to the sky. Good, inhale. And exhale, inhale. This time now walk your hands up the leg, forehead to knee, elbows out wide. Good, one more inhale here, lift a little higher. And then exhale, walk your hands down the leg. Now from here, inhale, now exhale, bring your left leg in. Right leg long, now right leg up, left leg long. Now switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. Next time your left leg lifts, leave it there, lower your right leg down, flex your foot, your right to your left foot. And now point your toes and flex and point, flex and point. Let's go ahead and flex the foot, inhale, hold and exhale. Go ahead and bend your left knee, cupping the front of your shin with your hands. Guide your left knee over towards your left shoulder. Again, using this opportunity to lengthen through your inner thigh, your groin, breathe in. <clears throat> Good, and then as you exhale, right hand will take your 
Left knee over and across the body again for a spinal twist. Over to the, to the right. Left arm and gaze go to the left. Three breaths here. One more inhale. Nice work. And exhale. Bring your left knee back into your chest. Kick your leg back up to the sky. Reach up to the heel. Toes point towards your forehead. Fingers are interlaced behind your leg. And hold this stretch. Breathe intentionally like you're breathing. And you're inhaling into the back of the leg. Lifting your heel a little higher. Then you can envision your exhale just trickling off the top of your toes into the thigh, back into the hip socket. And then we start over, two more. One more inhale. Good, and exhale, here we go. Let's walk our hands up the leg, forehead to knee, elbows out wide. Another deep breath here. And exhale, walk your hands down the leg. Now we'll do that switch. So with your left leg lifted, inhale, exhale, left leg lowers, right leg lifts. And switch, and switch, and switch. Moving at your pace, feeling that big stretch on the legs. Core is engaged. Nice. And then the next time your left leg goes up to the sky, leave it there. Take your right heel up just an inch up off the mat and again, interlace your hands behind your head. Last little sequence here of core work. Inhale, now exhale, we're going to bend our right knee, twist your left elbow outside of your right knee. Good, now inhale, send your right leg straight out and then exhale, right leg and chin go up. And then exhale, lower and then twist and extend, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, exhale, twist, inhale, exhale, lift, and lower, and twist, inhale, exhale, and lower, twist to the right, Extend right leg, exhale, crunch. Two more like that, lower, and twist. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last round, inhale, and exhale. From here, lower your head down. It took me a second to get that breath count right. Inhale and exhale so now leave your right leg lifted to the sky slowly lower your left leg down to the mat let your heel hover the earth about an inch so inhale now exhale right elbow left knee twist to the left now inhale left leg goes straight out exhale crunch lift up inhale lower left leg exhale twist to the left inhale left leg Extends out, exhale, lift, crunch, and lower, <clears throat> and twist, and lengthen, exhale, crunch, and lower, twist, and lengthen, exhale, inhale, exhale, you got it, and exhale, crunch, inhale, lower, exhale, twist, Inhale, last one, exhale, lift up, and inhale, lower, and twist, and lift. Lift your legs both up to the sky, inhale, exhale, lower your forehead to the mat. Bring your arms alongside your body, inhale, now exhale, scissor, without the help of your legs, just drop right, drop left, alternate, this is all core, breathe in, breathe out, this is it, keep sweeping, switching the legs. Core engage. Let the lower be just as engaged as the lift of the legs. Hold here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. 
Bring your legs both back up to the sky. Bend your knees and give yourself a big old hug. Forehead to knee. Wow, feel those core muscles. Breathe in and breathe out. Nice job. Roll to either your right or your left side. Come all the way up. Take your time to come to a seated position. And then once you're in a seated position, inhale, bring your arms out wide. Reach all the way up to the sky. Inhale, exhale, palms face forward, and then roll over the knees. Find tabletop position. Once you find your tabletop position, your hands are just beneath your shoulders. Your knees are just beneath your hips. Feet are flat. Inhale, lift through your heart. Feel the belly. Good. And then exhale, curl and round in. Tuck chin, tuck your tail. Good. And inhale, lift hips and heart. And exhale. Take a few more rounds just like this. One more inhale. And the next time you exhale into that cat spine, hold that cat spine. From the rounded spine, allow your toes to curl under. Lift your knees and float your hips to the sky. And drop your heels towards the earth. Feel that connection of your palms pressing into the mat. And then reach your hips up higher to the sky, lengthening through the upper half of the body. And then exhale, drop your heels lower to the mat, lengthening through the back, the bottom part of your body, your hamstrings, your calves, your heels. Just be patient here in this first downward facing dog. We'll take about five breaths. You can pedal out your knees alternatively. I got a little mosquito flying around me. Good, pedal, pedal. And then from this downward facing dog, we'll go ahead and settle our heels. And then again, another intentional inhale to lift your hips higher to the sky. Breathe into this shape. And exhale. From here, inhale, shift forward into a plank pose. Organize your hands. So again, their um, wrists are beneath your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, lower your knees. Bend your elbows, lower your hips, your thighs, your chest, and your chin all the way down to the mat. Once your belly's flat to the mat, and curl the toes, press through the tops of your feet, and let's loop our shoulders back and lift through our heart. Inhale, take cobra. Elbows hug your side body, breathe in. And then exhale, lower back down. And again, just like that, loop your shoulders back, lift through your heart center. And exhale. Nice job. On this third one, I want you to take your arms alongside your body and interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale to prepare once your fingers are interlaced. Exhale, lift your chest and draw your knuckles towards your inner ankles. Relax through your neck. Just feel that nice stretch in the shoulders and in the chest. Let's go two more breaths here. One more inhale. And exhale, lower slowly your forehead to the mat. Release the inner lock of your hands and then sweep your palms just beneath your shoulders. From here, we'll press down our hands and lift only our upper body up. Ra <clears throat> Excuse me, round your spine and drop your hips to your heels to stretch out through the spine for child's pose. We'll take three breaths here. One more inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back up to table. From your tabletop position, curl your toes under and lift your hips up to the sky. Exhale. <coughs> From your, <coughs> excuse me, got a tickle in my throat. From your downward facing dog. <coughs> inhale, look forward and walk your hands and feet to the top of the mat. I'm up halfway with a flat back. <coughs> Excuse me, gosh, that's embarrassing. Lift up halfway with a flat back, lengthen, pull shoulders back, and exhale, fold. 
Heel toe your feet a little bit further apart <clears throat> so you feel stable in this forward fold. You should be able to lift your toes here. If you want to rock forward and back, you sure may. And then once you can rock those heels back, soft with the feet, take about three breaths here just to let your spine lengthen. <clears throat> I like to think of this as a time that we can let any tension or tightness just roll off our back. Just let it go. Good, another inhale as you are. And exhale, inhale, bring your hands to your shins. Again, look forward off the tip of your nose. Think about having a nice flat back, inhale. And exhale, fold in. Inhale, take your arms out wide with a flat back, tall spine. Slowly roll all the way up. Slowly, slowly, let that blood recirculate through the body. Bring your palms to touch. And then exhale your thumbs to your heart center. Breathe in here. And breathe out. Nice work. Inhale, arms go up to the sky. Exhale, arms out wide, swan dive, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend your left knee, roll on an inhale, your right arm and your eyes up to the sky, twist it open, reach up. Press through your right foot quite a bit. Inhale, and then exhale, lower your right hand to the mat. Let's switch, bend your right knee, left arm and eyes. On an inhale, go up to the sky, reach up. Oh, I got it. <laughs> no more mosquito. Reach up, inhale. And then exhale, top hand comes back down to the earth, lift up halfway with a flat back, lengthen spine again. And then exhale, fold forward. From your forward fold, keep your right foot planted to the mat. Let's take a big step back with our left foot, finding a lunge. Before we do anything else, I want you to see your right knee over your ankle. Get a nice clean lunge so we can protect through that knee joint. Inhale, intentional breath to look forward, lengthen spine. Feel that stretch in your back left hip and thigh. And then exhale, slowly lower your bottom knee, your left knee to the mat. Uncurl the toes, inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Just for a breath here, inhale. Good, and then exhale, hands to the mat. Slide your right hip back, flex your right foot. Take another breath here, lengthen. Good, and exhale. Inhale, come forward to your right foot, plant your palms, and then float your right leg back, straight back, reach up through your heel. Preparing for spinal extension. Now I know our core is nice and warmed up to, to support this. So kick out through your right heel, left arm alongside your ear, thumb up. Inhale, exhale, round your spine, elbow to your knee, take your time, curl it in. And then inhale, reach and re-extend. And exhale, curl, bring in. And inhale, reach. Last one, exhale, pull, pull it in. And inhale, reach. Exhale, left palm to the mat. Listen carefully, I want you to curl just your left toes under, right leg stays extended. Lift up into a three-legged downward facing dog. Right leg is lifted. Inhale, great, and then exhale, round your spine, humongous step forward, right foot to the top of the mat. Again, find your lunge. From your lunge this time, we're gonna incorporate a twist. So left palm to the mat, right arm and eyes to the sky, reach up. Hold here for one more breath, reach a little higher. Inhale, you got it, exhale, right palm to the mat. Bend left knee, step left foot forward to meet your right. Inhale, hands to shins again, lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Standing tall, we take our arms out wide, reach all the way up to the sky. Palms touch, thumbs to heart center, exhale. Nice job. Inhale immediately, arms back out wide and up to the sky, reach up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. From our forward fold again, inhale to create length and space in the spine. And exhale, forward fold. Hands to the mat, this time it's the right leg that goes all the way back. Finding a lunge. Left knee over ankle, press your chest forward and then we look forward. Deep breath in here, and then exhale, lower your right knee down to the mat, uncurl your right toes. 
Press firmly through your left foot, reach your arms forward, and inhale, rise. Deep breath in here. Good, and exhale, lower your hands back down to the mat, slide your left hip back with a flexed foot, stretching again through that hamstring, take another breath to lengthen your spine, inhale, and exhale, fold in. Inhale, and exhale, here we go, back into our lunge, left knee over ankle just for a moment, palms down. Now round your spine and sweep your left leg straight back like you're putting your footprint on a wall behind you. Wrists are just beneath your shoulders for now, core engaged, right arm extends forward for spinal extension. Inhale, exhale, slowly round your spine, guide elbow to your knee, squeeze and pull in. Inhale, reach and extend. Two more like that, exhale, curl, pull in. And inhale, reach. Last one, exhale, pull, curl in. And inhale, reach. Nice job, right hand to the mat. Curl your right toes under. Lift your left leg up to the sky. Three-legged downward facing dog. Deep breath in and a breath out. From this place, round your spine. Look forward, big step forward with your left foot. Low lunge. Bend your right knee. Step your right foot forward to meet the left. Toes together. Inhale, hands to shins. Lift up halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. This time we add chair. Bend your knees, drop your hips low. Inhale, reach your arms high. Sink deeply into your chair pose here. Sink, sink, sink. Lift through your heart. Breathe in. And breathe out. <laughs> Two more breaths. One more, inhale, exhale, press through your feet. Here we go, stand tall, reach up, find space behind your heart for a little baby back bend. Inhale, open up through the chest, and exhale, inhale, reach your palms up, and then exhale, thumbs to heart center, pause. And exhale, all right. Inhale, reach your arms right back up to the sky. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Hands to the mat, listen carefully. Again, left leg steps back. So now we're in this low lunge, again, knee over ankle. From here, we're going to transition from low lunge, activate strength in your core, reach forward, and lift into high lunge. Knee over ankle, soft bend in your back left knee. From our high lunge, lift up and out of your side waist, lengthening through side body. At the same time, let your shoulders stay nice and relaxed. Take another inhale and exhale. This time I'd like you to sweep your arms back, hover your chest over your strong right thigh. Your palms um, are facing each other and just envision that you're holding a ball in the palms of your hands. Send your sternum forward, hold here for two more breaths. One more inhale and exhale. From here, you're gonna sweep your hands down, forward, left foot comes to meet the right, stand tall, reach high. Exhale, right foot steps back as your thumbs come to your heart center. Drop your right heel to the mat as you bend your right knee. So if we're facing, we'll be opposite. That your right knee is bending, going into a lateral, uh, lunge or a half skandasana. Left foot is flexed. Breathe in and breathe out. Getting a big stretch into your left inner thigh and really strengthening through our right glute. Take another inhale here and exhale. Press down through your back right foot. Inhale, lift up to warrior two with your left knee over ankle. Left knee over ankle in warrior two. So again, if we're facing each other, we might look opposite. So sink into the warrior two, breathe in and breathe out. 
from here, left hand turns up, exhale, reverse. Breathe into your left outer body line. Inhale. Great. And then exhale, left forearm to your thigh. Right arm up and alongside your ear. Reach and extend. We roll our top shoulder up and back, and let's look up towards your sky. Three breaths here. Good, and now from here, we're going to do a direction change. So press down through your feet. Inhale, spin your arms up to the sky, passing through star, pivot your left foot in, pivot all the way around. Our left elbow is going to hook outside of our right knee. So right knee is over ankle, hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. Place your right palm on top of your left palm. So now we're in a lunge twist. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist, look up. Modification, absolutely please lower your left knee down to the mat. Pull thumbs into your heart center. And exhale, twist, look up past your right elbow. Hold here for three more breaths. One more inhale, and exhale. Turn square your shoulders forward, lower your hands to the mat. Now your right foot is pressing into the mat, bend your left knee, step your toes together. So now we're facing the back of our room. Inhale, hands to shins, lift up halfway with a flat back, sternum forward. Good, and exhale, fold. Inhale, stand tall, reach your hands up to the sky, mountain pose, reach up. Palms touch. Exhale, thumbs to heart center. Good. Inhale, sweep your arms back out wide and up to the sky. Reach up. And then as you exhale, swan dive forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Bend knees. Plant your hands. This time, step your right foot all the way back. Find a lunge. So our left knee is over the ankle. Inhale, chest forward, look forward. Good, exhale, root down through your feet, engage, strengthen your core, reach your arms forward, and we rise. And exhale. So as soon as we lose our balance, if we've lost connection to our core, that's why we began our practice today, really warming up through our core, through our hamstrings and our hips, so our body could transition easily from low to high and making these these um, balanced movements. Take another inhale, reach a little higher. And then exhale, we sweep our arms back, hover our chest over this time our strong left leg. Notice how your right heel is reaching back, keeping your right leg just as engaged as the front. Palms face one another, put an imaginary ball into the palms of your hands. Lengthen, breathe in and breathe out. Let's go two more breaths here. Your left leg might be getting a little hot and that's okay. Inhale, exhale. Reach your arms all the way up, inhale. Or actually, actually just kidding. Take your hands down and bring your arms up with your uh, right foot. Almost forgot the back foot. Reach your ar arms up, inhale, exhale. Thumbs to heart center. This time it's the left foot that steps back. Skandasana, half skandasana, flex your right foot. So again, if we're facing each other, it was the left leg that stood, stepped back. Right leg is extended, toes up. Good. You don't have to take those hips all the way back. If you're feeling more flexible today and you want to drop your hips even lower, by all means, you may do that. Hold here for just a couple more breaths. Inhale, and exhale, press through the feet. Inhale, warrior one, right knee over ankle. Right knee over ankle, arms to a T, lift through your heart. Look past the first two fingers of your right hand. Drop your hips a little lower. You got it, nice job. Inhale, exhale, right palm faces up. Exhale, reverse. 
reverse and breathe into the side body. Inhale, and then exhale, forearm to your thigh. Sweep your back arm up and alongside the ear for extended side angle. Drop low into the hips. Top shoulder up and back, look up. You just get to breathe. All right, one more breath as we are here. And exhale, press down through your feet again, engage your core. Inhale, reach your arms up, passing through star. Pivot right toes forward and up and around we go. So now it's the right elbow that's going to go and hook outside of your left thigh. Once you've got it, open your right palm, left palm finds it on top of the right. Pull thumbs into heart, twist and look up past your left elbow. Remember, you can lower your right knee down. Give yourself just another bit of an um, amount of, of base. More of an anchor, if you will. Good. Let's go two more breaths. One more inhale, and then exhale. Slowly bring your hands down to the mat to frame your front foot, your left foot. Now bend your right knee, step your right foot to meet your left. So now we've made it back to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift, lengthen, flat back, lengthen spine. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, sink back, chair, arms up. Hold here. I think the rain brought a lot of mosquitoes. I'm like being attacked here by these little weirdos. Inhale and exhale, sink a little deeper. You got it, one more, inhale and exhale. Now press through your feet, here we go, all the way to the sky, reach up. Palms together, thumbs, <clears throat> thumbs to heart center. Take a pause here, inhale and exhale. Inhale, arms go back up to the sky. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. And then exhale, fold. Bend knees, hands to the mat, left leg steps back. Cue the core. Once you've got that lunge, inhale, reach forward, and again, we rise. Nice. Now that we've risen, inhale, exhale, sweep your hands back. Reach your chest forward. Stay here as you are, or if you want more, you're welcome to lift the back leg up off the earth and fly into warrior three. Hold here for three breaths in your leaning lunge or your warrior three. Nice job, one more inhale. And exhale, inhale, step your feet together, arms to the top of the mat, or to the sky, arms to the sky. Inhale, exhale, step your, or bring your palms together, step your right leg back, drop your right heel, and take that lateral lunge. Halfway, or again, if you wanna go further, all the way down. Flex your left foot, left leg is out long. Hold here for another inhale. Good, exhale, now press down through the feet. Here we go, warrior two, over the left knee. Left knee over ankle, warrior two. Look past your left hand. Inhale, left palm turns up to the sky. Exhale, left arm up and alongside your ear. Reverse your warrior. Inhale, breathe into your side body. And then exhale, left forearm to your thigh. Right arm up and alongside your ear, reach and extend. Press through your back right foot. Take another inhale as you are here. And exhale, press down through the feet. Here we go, back up to star. Transitioning, pivot your left toes forward. And then to the back of the mat we go, left elbow hooks outside of your right thigh, setting up for that big twist. Right palm on top of left, lengthen spine, twist, look up, and again, you can ground your left knee. Look up past your right elbow. 
I'm going to keep my left knee grounded, but if you want more heat, lift the left knee up. Two more breaths as you are here. Inhale and exhale. Square your shoulders forward, hands to the mat. If you're lowered your back knee, lift it, bend your left knee, step your left foot to meet the right at the top of the mat. Inhale, hands to shins, lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms out wide, reach up to the sky, palms touch. Exhale, thumbs to heart center. Inhale, arms go back out wide and up to your sky. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward. Inhale, hands to shins, lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Right leg steps back, low lunge. Pause, inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, root down through your front foot. Inhale, reach your arms forward and slowly we rise to our high lunge. Use your exhale to bend your back knee and to settle in so you feel grounded and you feel stable. Inhale, exhale, sweep your arms back, hover your chest over your left thigh. And again, you may stay right here. This is great work and it's going to really strengthen through the left thigh. But if you're thinking you want the balance pose, lift your right leg up and off the earth. Coming into warrior three balance pose. Hold here with your breath. Nice job, everybody. One more inhale. Exhale, right toes come to the top of the mat to meet your left. Inhale, arms to the sky, reach up. Exhale, palms together, thumbs to heart center. Take your left foot. Step it back, drop the heel, pivot, and then bend your left knee. Sink into that lateral lunge. Big stretch for now your right thigh with a flexed right foot. Half lateral lunge is great or full lateral lunge is great. Dropping those hips even lower. No prizes for how far you can lower down. Work in your space. Good, we'll take two more breaths here. One more inhale, and then exhale. Press down through your feet again, it's all core. Engage your core, lift up, bend open warrior two with the right knee over the ankle. Look past your right hand. Inhale, turn your right palm to face up. Exhale, reverse. Good, reversing the warrior, one more breath into side body. Then exhale. Forearm to your thigh, get low and extended side angle as your back left arm floats up and alongside the ear. I love when we do direction changes because you just really get into all the areas of the hips and the glutes through the core, really increasing our range of motion. From here, press down through the feet. Here we go, transition through star, arms go up, right toes pivot in. And then we take our right elbow and we hook it outside of our left thigh. Open right palm, left palm finds it. Inhale, lengthen, thumbs to heart. Twist and look up. Again, I'm gonna lower my back right knee. You can keep yours lifted if you want. Looking back past your left elbow, hold here with your breath, core is strong. Nice job, one more inhale. And exhale, inhale, square your shoulders forward. Exhale, plant your palms. Curl your back toes under. Step your feet to touch at the top of the mat. Inhale, hands to shins, lift, lengthen. And then exhale, fold. Bend your knees, sink back, chair, arms go up. Hold your chair for five full breaths. It's up to you to see how low you can lower your hips. See if you can pull your shin bones back just a little bit to help deepen the seat. Three more breaths. You got it, one more inhale. And exhale, root down through your feet. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Open your arms out wide. Lift your gaze, lift your heart. 
And then reach your arms to the sky, palms together, thumbs to heart center, exhale, breathe in. You did it. And exhale. All right, arms to the sky, reach up. Swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, hands to your shins, lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, hands to the mat, step right, step left foot back, returning to plank. It's been a while since we've been in our plank. Take a deep breath in, strike your thighs strong, lift your navel in and up. I don't want you dumping through your hips, so then that'll cause pain in your low back. You'll be sorry later. So lift up those hips. Navel in and up, squeeze your outer ribs in and down. So we're holding our plank here with our breath for five. Keep holding. Hold your plank for four. Take a deep breath in. And three. Good, hold for two. And for one. Lower your knees to the mat. Bend your elbows, lower your thighs, your hips, your belly, your chest, your chin to the mat. Once you're down, uncurl the toes. Loop the shoulders back, lift through your heart, inhale. And exhale, nice job. Now slide your hands alongside your body again. Interlace the fingers behind your tail. Looking straight down, inhale, exhale, lift and fly. Lift your legs up off the mat. Reach your knuckles towards your inner ankles. And feel that sweet, sweet stretch in your shoulders, in your chest. Strengthening through, through our lower back, which it is so important to strengthen those muscles that support our spine to help us stand tall, improving our posture. Good. Keeping those back nice and healthy. Two more breaths here. Inhale, and exhale, lower all the way down to the mat. Release the interlock of your hands, slide your hands just beneath your shoulders, press down through your palms, lift only your upper body up, round your spine, hips to heels, child's pose. Close your eyes. And just notice here the differences of how you feel now versus that first child's pose we went into today. Reminding yourself that the strength and the energy that you feel is from just you. No weights, no machines, nothing. Proving that all we need is what we already have built inside us. another inhale as we are and exhale from here let's take it all the way up to a tabletop position walk your knees in just to the middle ish of the mat crisscross at your ankles and you'll have a seat from here I want you to take your legs and extend them out long we're going to take our left leg over to the left so it's more towards the top corner edge of our mat our right knee, let's bend it. Place the sole of your right foot into your left inner thigh. Left hand will anchor behind our hip. Right arm will reach way up to the sky. Tilt your torso to where your heart is in alignment with your knee. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, reach for the outside of your left leg, ankle, or foot. And then inhale, lengthen your spine quite a bit. And exhale, fold in. Just utilize your breath as a tool. If you inhale, to, it'll create more length in the body. And as you exhale, we'll soften in.
Take three more breaths here. And then inhale, send your chest forward and lift all the way up. Once you're all the way up, we're going to take our right hand now outside of our right hip. Left hand reaches towards your toes, turn your palm up. Press down through your back right palm, inhale, lift your hips and your heart. Lifting through the chest, just let your left shoulder nestle down and back. Feel your right hip point lifting up. Hold here, two more breaths. Great job, one more inhale. And then exhale, lower your hips back down to the mat. From here, lean back into the palms and just send your right leg out to an angle towards the right um, top short edge of your mat. And then bend this on your left knee, place your foot to your right inner thigh. From here, right hand kickstands outside of your hip, left arm to the sky, reach up. Inhale, tilt your torso again to where your heart is in alignment with your knee. And then exhale, bow, reach forward. Then once you find the fold, inhale, lengthen into it. Press your collarbones forward, breathe in. And then exhale, we soften into the forward fold. So three more breaths here. And then inhale, send your chest forward, lift all the way up. And then once you're all the way upright, bring your left hand now outside of your left hip. Right arm reaches forward, right palm up. Press down through your back hand. Let's lift our hips and our heart. Giving ourselves this opportunity for a nice back bend and heart opener. more inhale and then exhale lower your hips and your right hand to the mat slowly extend your left leg out long and bring your right leg in so your legs are just straight out in front of you and now from here we'll take it all the way down to our backs and then once we're all the way down to the backs just like we began our practice bring your arms up and alongside your ears full deep breath in and through the mouth with a sigh let it go exhale Good, and then we'll bend our knees and bring your left and your right thigh into your chest. Give yourself a well-deserved hug. Good, option to curl forehead into knee, curl in. Good, and exhale, lower shoulders and head to the mat. And then open your arms wide to a T, my favorite thing. Let's end with a spinal twist. Let your knees softly lower to the left as we look to the right. A lot of movement today. Now we allow ourselves to rest. We allow our body to, to absorb all the healing benefits of that moving meditation.
Let's take another inhale. And exhale, inhale, knees to the center. Scoot your hips a little to the left, drop your knees this time to the right. And then look to the left. Nice job. One more inhale and exhale. Now take your knees up to center. Stamp down through the feet. Square off your hips, your sacrum flat to the mat. And then extend your legs out long and mat widths wide. Inhale, arms up and alongside your ears. Full body stretch, lengthen. And exhale, circle, sweep your arms down and alongside your body. Turn your palms to face up. And now we close down our eyes and we gift ourselves the next couple of minutes here to surrender the gift of stillness. slowly begin to wiggle through our fingers and our toes, bringing awareness back within our bodies and our breath. And then from this place, let's gently bend our knees and roll off to our right side, right or your left side, it really doesn't matter either way, coming into a fetal position. Taking just a moment here to notice and observe how you feel. And as we begin to reawaken into the gift of this day, take this openness and keep this calm with you. 
And then with the hand that's in the, on top, press down and lift yourself all the way up. Coming to a seated position with legs crossed. And once you've made it there, inhale, arms out wide, reach high to the sky. Palms touch, exhale, thumbs to heart center. Bow your head to look within your heart. It is with gratitude from my heart to all of yours for taking this time to take care of your heart, your body, your mind, and your soul. With gratitude, namaste. Thank you so, so very much. Have a wonderful day.